There is no other game like Football Manager for escapism. Losing hours, days, months, even years in a virtual world of wonder kids and new gens. Over the last decade, I've amassed more hours than I care to admit. My Steam library has ghosts, shadows, and memories I will always treasure amongst those thousands and thousands of hours. Memories of that tactic that just works. That wonder kid you can't get out of your head wherever you are. But over time, those memories fade and start to become a distant memory. So he thought we'd put together a compilation of the goal of the seasons from FM12 to FM22. Crazy goes here. Let's go. Starting with 2012, we all recognise that wonder kid, don't we? And the top three goals from here are worldies. Les Scott, out to Glenn Johnson, what a superstar, to Marek Hamsic, he used to be good, didn't he? And over to a player I'm not too sure about, Montillo. Comments down below, do you know him? And then, well, 2012 was about one person. And here he is, Jack Rodwell. Oh my days. Boom! What a goal. And then Jelovic, another Everton goal of the season, cutting inside. Baines... Inside again to Jelovic, into Jack Rodwell. Two goals, goal of the season competitors. FM23, a fantastic right wing back in the making right there. Gareth Bale levitating, cuts inside. He's going past one. Is he going to go past two? It's very pale, this football manager, isn't it? Cuts inside, absolute worldly from Gareth Bale. And another goal of the season contender from Spurs, this time from Dembele. Skins one player, goes past another two, and from outside the box... Puts it into the bottom corner. But that's not the goal of the season. More levitating. Brunt crosses it in. And look at this for a finish here now. It's an absolute thunder strike. FM24. It's a big favourite of one of the manager seat lads. What are we saying, Leo? FM 2014, man. My favorite edition, at least of the last, what, 20 years? I had a Man United save, broke all the records, and I liked it so much that I even skipped the 2015 and 16 editions of Football Manager. So, whoops. And starting us off in FM 24 is Mikel Arteta. He's tried once already, and like his all or nothing, we know he's a sturdy character. So, bosh top bins yet again great goal from Arteta and the second offer is from Swansea my beloved Swansea Routledge out in the wing Rand Rangel with a 1-2 what a finish that is you don't see many goals like that and a very bright pitch very sunny in South Wales and I miss those cartwheels and the goal of the season which to be fair I wouldn't say is a goal of the season Chris Brunt cuts inside and he's got a strong foot, don't get me wrong, but that's not goal of the season. It should have been Swansea. And FM15, another favourite of one of the manager's seats. Oh, FM15, what a time that was. Me, Bedford Town, climbing through the leagues, reaching the top division, even winning the League Cup. They don't make FM like that anymore. And the goals in FM15 are delicious. First of all, look at the condition of that pitch. It looks like a marsh. And Van Persie with a thunderous left-footed strike into the bottom corner. Worldy. Next up, from Everton against Swansea. Cuts inside to McCarthy. To Lukaku when Everton were good. Over to Matthew Flamini with a thunder strike into the top corner. And then Villa against Everton. Everton out wide. Cassano into Darren Gibson from miles out. Surely not. What a goal, Mr. Gibson. And on to FM16. We've only got one goal compilation to bring you today. Anthony Martial. Remember when he was good? And here we are. Man City versus Manchester United. When the fitness bars are on top of the player. And are we going to get an Aguero moment? He goes past two or three. Get in there, my son. And for FM17, we've got another one of the TMS gang who love this one. FM17, Hibernian, we've dominated the SPL and Europe. I don't even know why I chose them. Probably should revisit that. In FM17, Zlatan was an absolute monster. Literally twice the size of other players on the pitch. This beautiful goal from Manchester United put into the top corner. 2-0 up against Swansea, worldy. And the second goal is Arsenal yet again against Swansea. And this one, Kieran Gibbs, in the 85th minute, wins Arsenal the league. And look how composed he is. Just a skip in his step and, of course, a tumble toss, because why wouldn't he? And the goal of the season, West Brom against Manchester City. Gabriel Jesus over to Sterling. Can he cut inside? He can. Well, you know, that's okay. But goal of the season? Come on, Raheem. You're better than that. FM18, a man mountain of a player. I bought him every single save I had. And the goals this year, the pitch looks lovely and smooth. And we've got Manchester United against Crystal Palace. Anthony Martial into Herrera it's a bit messy here can Martial do anything with it 
Back to Herrera. Is he going to hit it? Nope. Pogba. Oh, Pogba. I remember when he used to be good as well. And the second goal is Southampton, Newcastle. Hit it. He's already had four goals in this game, by the way. In this game, he actually scored all five. What a worldie that is. Buffal. Remember him? And the final goal of the season is Crystal Palace, Liverpool. Ball comes in. Bobby Firmino back to Wijnaldum on the Kung Fu kick volley into the bottom corner. What a goal. And we're into FM19 where Mbappe burst onto the scene. Is he going to get amongst the goal of the season competitors? we got Manchester United against Cardiff. Martial on the ball out wide. Gets snapped, but Shaw puts it in there. Herrera, mate. What a volley. And the next one up is Fulham versus West Ham into Mount Noble. And we've got acres of space here for Sanchez. He finishes well. And that's it for your goal of the seasons for FM19. On to FM20. Declan Rice came good this season. Very good player. Who's going to get the goals this time around? Villa versus Wolves is a one touch hit up to Yota. Skins one player. Where's he going? Oh, he's going to the bottom corner. What a goal that is. And Leicester against Wolves is 2 2. Tielemans coming forward from his own half. Can he go all the way? Hits it. Oh, that is a Sally Gunnell. Right into the bottom corner. Good goal. And the top goal of the season. Sadio Mane from his own half. Is he going to go past more? He's gone past one. Oh, he skins another. And he puts it into the bottom corner. What a goal, Sadio. FM21. Let's get it. And of course, Gradiol. What a player. What a hairline. Manchester United, West Brom. Ball is out to Alex Tellers. Very dark pitch in FM21, isn't it? Much more gentle off the eyes. Bruno Fernandes into the bottom corner. And Chelsea versus Everton. Hudson Adoy from his well inside his own half. Can he go all the way? He can. He just smacks it into the top corner. And the goal of the season in this one is another Chelsea player. Gabby. Gabby Goal, as we know and love him. Goes past one. Can he finish this one? Oh, he can indeed. And the pitch is looking very nice there. Graphics are definitely improving a lot here. But from 21 to 22, I'll be honest, I didn't feel there was that much of a step. All comes forward here from Aston Villa Wolves. Ollie Watkins out wide. Cuts inside. Luca Digne. De Buendia. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a classy goal. But is it goal of the season? Second up, Spurs versus Villa. Ollie Watkins yet again. Where's he going? Douglas Louise top bins. That's a nice goal. But the winner for goal of the season FM22 is Crystal Palace, Brighton. Zaha out wide. Where's he going? Into easy. What's easy going to do? Oh, he's going to do that. What a goal. What a group of goals that is. And there you have it. 10 years of football manager history whittled down to a few minutes. Madness. But it's quite pleasing to see that there have actually been quite a few improvements over the years. You don't notice it incrementally, but when you look back at that 10 years, you see how much things have changed. It's quite pleasing. So bring on FN23 with a 4D match engine. Wingers cutting the ball back. Set piece creator. I could go on. But I won't because you need to go and watch this brilliant video by FM Llama. How to create DNA in Football Manager. Absolutely brilliant.